Welcome back to John's Films. Grant Petty just wrapped up his DaVinci Resolve cloud update from Blackmagic Design Headquarters in Australia. Today is the big day they dropped DaVinci Resolve 18 beta as a public beta for all of us to use. I jumped in and immediately ran some benchmarks between DaVinci Resolve 18 and DaVinci Resolve 17. Let's see what happens with the footage I've selected. DJI drone footage, 10-bit H.265. Got some A7S III footage from Sony, 10-bit S-Log3. And then over here with the Nikon Z9 8K footage. Let's see how badly 18 crushes 17. Grant Petty mentioned several times they rewrote the entire render engine. Let's get to it. Starting off, we have Resolve 17 Studio in top left, Resolve 18 Studio in the bottom right. You'll notice they're both playing back roughly at the same speed. Uh, 17 might have gotten a hair of a jump on 18, but this plays on and we roughly see the exact same timeline performance. I have all the caching turned off, all the proxies turned off, so that it's just native playback and timeline. No difference here. Let's go to the render. And I tell you what, people, this is DaVinci Resolve 18. The CPU-based render, the first job, took 6 minutes and 27 seconds, whereas in 17, it took 9 minutes and 24 seconds, nearly 3 minutes longer. Ho! At this point, I should interject, if you like this and you like hardware recommendations for DaVinci Resolve, make sure to hit subscribe. I've got plenty of that coming up with the new 18 version. Finally, 4 minutes and 20 seconds in the NVENC encoder, that is the GPU-based render, here in DaVinci Resolve 18 against 7 minutes 11 seconds in DaVinci Resolve 17. Huge day for us here in DaVinci Resolve land. Thank you all for watching. This has been John's Films, and I hope you have a great day.